Fox Business host Stuart Varney is going to do his usual uh, defend the rich, come hell or high water shtick. Uh, watch this because it's absolutely hilarious. Bill Gates is worth about $100 billion. He was asked if he deserves that money. Nobody does, he said. He told the interviewer that his fortune came from timing and luck. Hmm. And he thinks he should have paid more tax as his fortune grew. I disagree. How much does Mr. Gates think he deserves? If he doesn't deserve a hundred billion, what is a more desirable amount or more deservable amount? Cut him off at a billion? Where exactly does deservability begin and end? Apply it to you. If you make, say, a hundred thousand dollars a year, do you deserve it? If you make thirty thousand dollars, do you deserve more? You've opened a Pandora's box, Mr. Gates. In my opinion, you deserve as much as your brain's drive and ability brings in. And don't give us a guilt trip about earning good money. This program is not in the jealousy business. And if Bill Gates thinks he should have paid more tax, why doesn't he write a big check? He could do that. And so could all those patriotic millionaires who've appeared on this program. They've all said, tax me more, tax me more. But none of them, to my knowledge, has ever written an extra check to the Treasury. I don't think they want to pay more themselves. <laughs> they want you to pay more. We're glad you're watching this program because we celebrate guilt-free success. I'll repeat, <laughs> you deserve the income that your drive, brains and ability generates. That is the American dream. No need to apologize for success. He's so glib and flippant and smug, and it's like he's not even trying to entertain the real arguments of the other side of what he's saying. So, we don't, like, he's talking as if we already live in a meritocracy. And, Stuart, that's just not true. So, for example, 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Half of workers make $30,000 a year or less. Now, what he would say is, that's just, what do you mean? That's just how hard they work. No, it's not. I know people who work two full-time jobs, and they're still poor. They still don't live above the poverty line, and they work two full-time jobs. So is that a failure of work ethic? Nope. Is that a failure of drive? Nope. What that is, Stu, is a failure of the system. We have a system that isn't a meritocracy. That doesn't reward work. That's why working people are undervalued in this country. Meanwhile, you get assholes who push numbers around on a computer screen and work three days a week, and some of them are making millions of dollars a year. Mitt Romney made $15 million a year doing nothing, sitting on his Mormon ass with his Mormon underwear. And he paid a lower tax rate than working people. Why should Mitt Romney, who doesn't actually work for a living, now he's a senator, but before he wasn't, and he was making $15 million a year, paying a 15% tax rate. Meanwhile, if you're a secretary making 80 grand a year or 90 grand a year on Wall Street, you were paying like 30 or 35% in taxes. Why should Mitt Romney, who doesn't work, pay less in tax than um, somebody who's actually working? See, the, the system has been rigged, Stuart, by the billionaires and the corporations against working people. So when you rant as if we live in a meritocracy, you are just wrong. And the point Bill Gates was trying to make is, no, it's not like... I didn't actually work to earn $100 billion, but I have $100 billion, and that's why redistribution makes sense. Now, that doesn't mean you take every billionaire and make them dirt poor and take every poor person and make them a billionaire. No. It means we're allowed to use our minds and be reasonable and try to determine, hey, what makes sense and what doesn't make sense? What would be equal opportunity? So what do you have to give people to make that floor reasonable so we have, you know... So that we can say, okay, you have a shot now. And then if they don't make it, sorry, it's on you. You didn't make it, but we gave you a fair shot. See, right now, Stu, the point is people aren't getting a fair shot. That's the point. When you got one point, uh, over $1 trillion, $1.5 or whatever it is, trillion dollars in student loan debt, and people can't even file for bankruptcy on that debt, so they're paying it off until they're fucking in their 50s, and they don't have a real shot in this economy... I mean, that's a problem. When, people, when medical bills are one of the top causes of bankruptcy in this country, that's a problem. We don't have equal opportunity. Other developed countries have uh, the health care taken care of. So it's, now, I just want to give two facts here. Um, one of them is the richest 0.00025% of Americans owns more wealth than the bottom 150 million Americans. So that, like the Walton family, six people, 
they have more wealth than 45% of the country combined. Did they just work harder? No, they didn't work harder. That's the points, Stu, and that's what you're not grappling with. By the way, it's provable. 60% of wealth in America is inherited. So when you look at these massively rich people, 60% of it's inherited. So that's their welfare queens. 60% welfare queens. He doesn't... He doesn't care. He thinks they deserve that for some reason, but if you give a couple bucks so a poor kid could eat, somehow that's not fair, and that's parasites, and that and they're moochers, and they don't deserve that. But welfare for the rich, oh, that's fine. I'm not even going to say that's welfare. I'm going to say they earned it, even though it's inherited, and they didn't do dick for it. So, I mean, when he says, like, for example, write a check, well, write a check to the Treasury, they haven't done it. Hey, asshole, it's not enough. That's the point. The point is it needs to be institutional to make sense. You can't say, oh, you want Medicare for all? Write a bigger check, Bill Gates. That's not enough. We would need an actual tax that makes sense in this country that hits the right people to fund the system. You can't just say, oh, you just pay more, and there's one person paying more, or a handful of people paying more, and you can't afford to set the system up the way that we need to set it up, that gives people equal opportunity. So it's all, again, the thing that's so frustrating about these people is they don't bother to learn the actual counter-arguments to what they're saying. They just, like, build a straw man about what the other side is, and then they slap down the straw man, and then they walk around like they're fucking Mike Tyson in his prime, and they just knocked out their opponent. No, you're not. No, you're not. You just beat down a straw man, and you were sounded really flippin' and smug and glib, and you're not nearly as smart as you think you are, tough guy. Believe me.